Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's going to be for Aquarius. Oh, my eyes. Okay. Week three. Aquarius. Week three. Different strength. I, I can't. I don't know what's going on with my eyes over here. All right, Aquarius, please. Week three, of June. Like my body's aching. It's it's weird. My neck. Make sure you're stretching. Some of me past wants to come back around. Holy instant headache. What is happening right now? I don't know if you guys are ascending. You need to work on something. Your third eye, your vision. So I just had this conversation with Scorpio. I forget the name of it, um, but it's, it's candle glazing. Um, something's going on with you guys physically. Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords, Aquarius, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, The Devil. Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, The Devil. Something's getting the best of you. Don't let something get the best of you. Whatever this is. Is somebody from your past might be trying to come back. I don't know what that's forgetting. Well, that's that's your message. Um You might be dating somebody by the time they come around. Or you just started dating somebody. Past life soulmate, something. It could be a family here. Somebody wanted to like make something work, but like I can tell something didn't. There's lies. It could be regarding a third party. It's a new opportunity for love, though. Something's toxic. There's a family situation here that's just straight up toxic. Someone cannot stop thinking about you. Some of you are dealing with a twin. And it's, it's rough. It is not your mental be all. I, I don't. <sighs> Thank you. It's like, when did I sign up for the shit? See, that's something I wouldn't even say. Like, so it's whatever's going on with you. You're asking yourself, like, I signed up for this? There's, I mean, there's definitely lies, deception, secrecy. There was definitely somebody else. There was, it was something, it was sexual. Some of you, if you're having a difficult time, maybe just go into a park, talk to birds, something. Something didn't go in somebody's directions, lies, deception, sabotage. It's just, yeah, lovers. It was somebody else here with the devil, so it was like just playing, though. Lust. Somebody, there was a family situation. Somebody fell in love. You didn't get some opportunity, or the family didn't get an opportunity. It's like not going back into that. Somebody wants to move forward here when it comes to love. Could be down with the cancer, it's the chariot, but... So somebody wants a new opportunity. There was there was no balance. They were giving it too many scenarios. It, to me, it's like you don't even want to talk about this. This person already had plenty of opportunity to talk. Yeah, see, it's like they're doing nothing about it or you're doing nothing about it. There was too many people in the picture here. Broken promises, overdoing yourself, overcommitting yourself. Mm. 
Yeah, see if I ever saw it. It's, 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 there was arguments, fights, competition that, you know, it, it's, this is watch your back energy. Um, it's just somebody who wants to win at all costs. It was a very toxic, unhealthy family situation here. Marriage, whatever this is, Ten of Cups was, long term, like very unhealthy, toxic, karmic. Somebody else stepped into it. Somebody else got involved. Again, it could be a cancer. Somebody's got strong cancer placement, whether it's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or whatever planets. It could even be Jupiter. Everything's retrograde right now, right? Not everything, but a majority of things are retrograde right now. 66, somebody else just actually you have 666 on the board. And that's not a bad thing. That's actually a really good void. Um, there is a new opportunity for love. Somebody obviously met somebody. There's definitely a better opportunity here. It's just a matter of somebody goes after and grabs it. It's like everybody lost, though. Nobody's with nobody right now. So some of you, this is definitely regarding your past, or this is about to go down. A lot of temptation, a lot of passion between you and somebody else. But I think, if anything, that already that subsided. Because somebody didn't get what they wanted here, whether it was you or them. Nobody got what they wanted here. Somebody thought it was going to be a win, and they didn't. You know what I'm saying? So... With the Ace of Cups here, this is either you moving forward, self-love moving forward, or this is you bumping into somebody new. Now, see, someone's watching you. You either have an admirer or somebody's just watching you. It could be a fire sign because the King of Wands just came out. Here comes your past. There was definitely too many people in the picture, so... This is somebody who clearly wants a new opportunity with you. There is some feelings, so I don't know if it was friends with benefits. Aquarius. The lion. Triantula. Fire. Lots of fire, yeah. I don't know why I just pulled you two like that, but... There's definitely a crossroad here. Yeah, your crossroads for sure. The lion. The lion is the master of the fire element, is the mascot of transformation. The lion personality dedicates the life to personal and spiritual growth. The dedication inspires some and intimate, intimates, intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected and it's known. It's also known as intimidating a few people. Some mistake, of the, some mistake the lioness had to access an aloof. Don't waste your energy. This card is self-mastery is available no matter where our quest begins. Oh my gosh, my spine, my back. I don't know what's going on with you guys. Um, when you're in balance, it's, it's, peace, it's, it's peace, it's strength. Someone can't talk. Something's going on here. I'm all clusterfucked. When you're in balance, you're withdrawn. When, you, when you're out of balance, you're withdrawn. You're too sensitive. See, when you're in balance, you're at peace, strength. Daily meditation of a good friend would be good here. Someone's wasting their time where they should not be wasting their time. So stop wasting your time. Someone's struggling to talk to you or something. And the triantra is being at the crossroads. It's, but it's like claiming a person, a purpose too. See what is going on here? Someone it's like someone wants to claim you. Ugh. I see that here too. Something didn't go in that direction. Somebody thought they were gonna win at all costs. Like it didn't work. Like they didn't get their way. Like they didn't. Like somebody thought they had something in the bag, and clearly they did not. But I, I'm be careful because this energy wants to come back around. Triantula represents the moment of great decision needs to be made, prioritizing life's deeper purpose or drama. The habit of routine from the past is sidetracking you from your dream. Yeah, see? Whatever went down, let, let it go. You're wasting energy, okay? True happiness and drama will come to you. When you get in tune with your own satisfaction, we'll be fleeing. The triantula hovers patient and calm, like an old friend that knows your inner soul. It already knows you choose wisely. So somebody already knows they have something, too. The hats have been a friends with benefits, yeah. 
So there is an opportunity that's coming back around for somebody that you know that you were intimate with in your past or just your current past. And someone's intuition is already telling them, like, you know, it's a meant to be scenario, but right now it's a fucking shit show. They're kind of just watching you. It's like they're the lion, cross watches of the triangle. So you're dealing with somebody who's still wasting time elsewhere. I'm sorry to deliver that message. It's never fun getting messages like that. But, um... This energy does want to to win. I mean, the chariot, the six of swords, I mean, they do want to be triumphant. They do want a new chance with you when it comes to love. This was definitely somebody caught feelings. This was definitely a friends with benefits scenario. So just be aware that's coming back around. I'm going to pull your best advice right now. We got awakening, okay, and the Queen of Swords. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. Queen of Swords, objective decision-making. Clear away what no longer serves you, all right? So you need to be smart here, like you mentally smart, not, not your soul, not your intuition. I mean, follow that too, right? But this is being smart, making the right decisions mentally. Do you want this back? Because this is coming back around. It looks like there's an awakening. They're either going to come in and express or this is them waking up on, on what happened. All right. Um, there's a little bit of a standstill here, but it, it's definitely going to come back around. They're giving to too many people and now they want to give to you. Um, so continue to be independent. Okay. And experienced, realistic, witty. Make the right decisions clear away right now that no longer serves you right now this week this is not serving you okay so you're either waking up and seeing this that this is like a no-go or they're waking it up and they're like ah oh, shit so definitely friends with bennies over here and, and you guys caught feelings okay so and right now everybody lost this is somebody who really thought they had the upper hand and they didn't it's like they, they were like, fuck. They really thought they had something in the bag. Somebody definitely tried to have their cake and eat it too. So to me, you already woke up to a situation. So now they're waking up to a situation. All right. And spirit's kind of like, hey, stop wasting your time. Could be dealing with a, a strong fire sign here. Stop wasting your time. Go in a new direction to something else. Okay. Um, and the feminine is coming in and is like, Queen of Air will won't deal with no bullshit. You know, Air's coming in as a triangle. So I love you guys. I hope this helps. See you on Patreon. Have a kick ass week. Bye.